you for visiting my channel and watching this video. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to order food in Japan, in Japanese restaurant. So here are pictures of some Japanese food. Um, these are all the pictures I took, actually. And yeah, let's go. So when you first enter the restaurant, um, the waiter may say these things. いらっしゃいませ and it means welcome, hello, and thank you for coming. So that's very common. You don't need to say anything back, but they will say that. And they will ask you, uh, And it means how many people. So you can answer by saying, That means one person. Nime this that means two people. Samme this three people. Yomme this four people and so on. So basically you say the number of people and you say mei, which means person. And you can learn the the numbers in my previous videos, but you just simply add the number and say me. This. And next thing that the waiter might ask you is they're going to ask you whether you smoke or not in the seat. So in many restaurants in Japan, um, they allow smoking in a designated area. And um, they have, well, some places don't have separated um, rooms with smoking and non-smoking and some, pla some places may not allow you to smoke at all but um, if you go to restaurants especially the casual ones they may ask you this So otabako means um, cigarette in a polite form tabako is cigarette and otabako is a um, polite way to say cigarette. And osui ni nararemasu ka means do you smoke in a polite way. And or they may ask kitsuen seki to kinyen seki dochira ga yoroshi deshou ka? Kitsuen seki to kinyen seki dochira ga yoroshi deshou ka? And it means, would you like a smoking allowed seat or non-smoking seat? So, kitsuen seki means um, smoking allowed seat. And kinyen seki means non-smoking um, allowed seat. So, and you can answer these questions by, um, for the first one, if they ask, otabako wa osui ni nararemasu ka? You can say, Yes or no. Hai means yes. Iie means no. And for the second question, kitsuen seki to kinyen seki, dochira ga yoroshii deshou ka? You can just answer by saying either one, kitsuen seki, which is smoking allowed seat, or kinyen seki, non-smoking seat. Very simple. So, what you want to do when you sit down is you look through the menu and you're going to order. And when you want to order, um, in many restaurants in Japan, especially the casual restaurants, they have a buzzer. So you can press that to call the waiter. It's usually near the menu, so you can find that pretty easily. But if there's no buzzer, uh, don't ever whistle or shout waiter to call the waiter. Um, that's just rude, so people don't like rude things, I guess. And so instead, you can make an eye contact with the waiter and raise your hand and say this. Sumimasen. It means, excuse me. Sumimasen. Or, Chumon onegaishimasu. Chumon onegaishimasu. And it means, can I order? So order is 注文, 
and onegaishimasu means please, which you will use that a lot later in this video. So when you want to ask for other things like menu, water, um, tea, napkin, and spoons, you can use these. So for menu, you say menu wo onegaishimasu. Can I have a menu? Menu wo onegaishimasu. So as I explained earlier, um, you can say onegaishimasu to anything. It's just please. So it's just nicer to say that at the end of each sentence. So if you want to ask for water, omizu wo onegaishimasu. Can I have a glass of water? So omizu means water in a polite way. So Japanese words have a lot of polite words. Even, even for words, they have polite way to say that. So water normally you would say mizu, but omizu is polite. And you put o in front of these words and it becomes polite way to say that. And if you want to ask for black or green tea, um, you can ask for that in many Japanese cuisine restaurants. Um, you can say, Ocha wo onegaishimasu. Ocha wo onegaishimasu. Can I have a glass of tea? Um, ocha, again, is a polite way to say cha. People don't say cha, but we say ocha. And um, just a note, Teas or green teas in Japan are not sweet. I know in some country you drink green tea um, sweetened, but in Japan we drink it straight. So you eat it with food, so it's supposed to be not sweet. And if you want to ask for a napkin, uh, which in many restaurants in Japan have, you ask for oshibori wo onegaishimasu. Oshibori wo onegaishimasu. Can I have a napkin? And in Japan, many of these napkins, oshibori, are wet. It's like wet towel. And sometimes it's warm, sometimes it's cold. But um, everyone uses this to clean their hands before eating. And so yeah, that's what we do. And the last one. These might be useful for people who do not know how to use chopsticks. So it's a very important one to remember. If you want to ask for spoon, fork, or knife, you can say spoon wo onegaishimasu. That's for spoon. Or fork wo onegaishimasu. That's for fo fork. Or knife wo Onegaishimasu means for a knife. So, as you can kind of see or hear, um, the words for spoon, fork, knife is pretty similar in Japanese. And that's because these words are actually from English. So, um, it's just in a Japanese accent. But we say spoon for spoon, fork for fork, and Knife for knife. Easy. Okay, so you enjoyed your meal and it's time for you to pay. And in restaurants in Japan, it's common to pay at the cashier, um, especially the casual ones, but there are restaurants where you pay at the table, like many restaurants um, outside of Japan. Um, so when you want to pay, and you, when you don't go to the cashier, but you pay at the table, um, you either press the buzzer that's on the table, or you make an eye contact with the waiter and raise your hand and say this. Okaike wo onegaishimasu. Okaike wo onegaishimasu. Can I pay for the meal? Or can I pay? So, onegaishimasu, as I explained earlier, it just means please. And okaike means uh, the payment, the check. So, this is a bonus, but when you leave the restaurant, um, 
here are things that you need to remember. First, well, actually, this is for when you pay, but you don't need to pay a tip. It's just、um, not what we do in our culture. And I wouldn't say it would be rude. Actually, I don't know, but people don't do that in Japan. We don't pay tip. And sometimes it's already included in the、um, receipt as a service fee. So you don't need to pay a tip here. And、um, as it is true for any other country, Japanese people, regardless of the job positions, or if you're a worker or if you're、um, cus- con- customers,、um, people appreciate politeness. So be polite to people who's working at the restaurant too. It's just nice to be polite to people that you don't know. So, if you like the food and, or services, say this to the waiter at the end as you leave. Gochisou sama. Gochisou sama. And it means thank you or it was a great meal. So, it just, you,、um, it just shows your appreciation to the food and you can say that to the waiter too. And that's actually a great way to thank the waiter. Um, yeah, so say that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I think these are some、um, phrases that's actually very useful when you go to restaurants in Japan, even though some waiters may speak English to you. It's still nice to be able to speak some Japanese to them. So I hope you use it when you、um, go to Japan. Thank you. Sayonara. Bye.